All right, what's scarier than ghosts and goblins? A stinky, rotting pumpkin. Meteorologist Katie Blake shows us a little of the science behind carving your jack-o'-lantern in this week's Blake's Brainiacs. Halloween is fast approaching, but before you carve your pumpkin for this year, I want to give you some cool information about the science behind jack-o'-lanterns. Now, did you know that a pumpkin is considered a fruit? Because it grows on a vine, so as soon as it's cut from that vine and gets into our grocery stores, well, it's already starting to die. But don't be too sad. It takes a while for pumpkins to completely rot and die. And when you carve a pumpkin and expose the insides of it, this speeds the rotting process along because now the very sensitive inside of this fruit is exposed to air and oxidation begins to occur. This fleshy stuff here, this is pumpkin and it's made of different atoms that make up compounds. So what happens when oxidation occurs, these atoms lose one electron that changes the whole structure of the compound. So the pumpkin you carve is going to rot eventually, but the speed at which it rots depends on where it's placed, how warm and humid it is in that location. But there are a few things you can do to slow down the rotting process. One thing you can do before you even start carving, don't cut around the stem because the pumpkin could still be getting nutrients from the stem, so instead, cut a hole in the back. After you have carved your creation into the pumpkin, there are three things you can apply all over to help preserve things a little bit longer. Vaseline, peppermint soap, and vinegar. Applying these three things to the pumpkin, especially the parts that are exposed where you can kind of see the fleshy part of the pumpkin will help to lock in moisture longer and that will slow the rotting process. May your pumpkins rot slow and prosper. Happy carving. Katie Blake, KSAT 12 News.